Hello, I'm here to show you how to make your biscuit head and the biscuit badgers flick book. First open your flick book packet. Inside you'll find 26 photographs, some card and your pair of 3D glasses. The first thing you have to do is cut up all your photographs. The photographs have lines on, and you have to carefully cut along each line, like so. Make sure you do it carefully, because we want your flip book to be nice and neat. There we are, that's one line, and then I'll go along here. That's another line. And then along here, that's another line. Well, as you've gathered, this is quite tiresome to watch. So here's one I prepared earlier. You will end up with 50 numbered cards and you have to put them in order with number one at the bottom going up to number 50 at the top, like so. You then have two other cards. This one goes on the top of your flick book. This one will be on the cover and you have to cut along this line here and we'll put this aside for later. There we are. Check that you've got your flick book in order by flicking it. If it works, then you've got it in order. If biscuit head and biscuit badgers jump around too much, then you've got something wrong. Now onto this black card here. You'll see that it has lines on it. Maybe you won't be able to see the lines in this poor video, but when you buy the thing, your one will have lines on it. And it has three sections, section number one, section number two, section number three. Cut out those sections. So here's section number one. Along here, so I'll cut along there. I'll cut along section number two. So when you've cut along all the lines, you'll end up with lots of bits of card. But the bits we're interested in are these three bits. Number one, number two, and number three. We'll put those aside for now. Take your flip book and um, we want to get this edge, the top edge, really, really straight. So you turn it upside down and drop it lightly on the table and then clip it with a couple of clothes pegs like that. We need this to be really smooth. Don't worry about this edge or this edge, but this edge needs to be really smooth because that's the edge you're going to flick. If it's not smooth, take it off and do it again until it is really nice and smooth like so no it's still not there so you do it again you just keep doing it until it's really really good there we are that's nice and smooth and now we need to stick this edge whatever you do don't stick this edge this is the edge you want to stick so i've got some glue here it's a little bit of pva wood glue um, other glues are available um, before we get the glue out, we need to do stuff with the card. You take piece number one and you put it on the top of your flip book like that. Can you see that it's overlapping there? And you have to bend that bit down there and bend that bit down there like that. But these bends aren't good enough yet. And then you put them on the table, you fold them right over and you make a really good fold there. And there, see how I'm really pushing it with my nail to make a really good fold. And now that can go on there and see how it fits nice and snugly over the top of my flip book. Now you take piece number two. Now piece number two already has a fold in it. You use that fold and you put it on your flip book like that. And then you bend this bit round here. And that makes a fold, but it's not good enough. So then you take it off and you make a really, really good fold. The better you do your folding, the better your flip book will be. So can you see I've got two folds now? 
and put that back on there. And now I fold this bit round here like that. And again, I take it off, bend it down like that. So that's three folds. And then I'll do my last fold, put that there and that there. That goes round there. And once again, I take it off to make a really good fold. Really tight fold. And then you should have, if you've done it right, you should have a letterbox shape like that. So it should look like a letterbox. And if it does, now it's time to glue. So we get some of this glue that I mentioned earlier. Check once again that you're gluing the right end. The picture should be there. You're gluing the end that the picture isn't. Put a nice liberal bit of glue over the top and a bit down the sides. Then you take piece number one and you glue all the way along piece number one. And you take that and put it over the top. Now piece number one is a little bit narrower than the flip book. Don't worry about that because we're going to wrap it all together with piece number two. And don't worry if the sides of piece number one keep, keep flipping up because once you wrap it around with piece number two, it won't. Another bit of glue and that glue goes all the way down piece number two. Like so. Then you put the long bit of your letterbox at the front, that, like that. Wrap the short bit round first if you want to be neat. And then you take the long bit and that goes along there like that. And that is the flick book made. So the next thing we have to do is make the cover. But you have to leave this to dry for a bit. Give it about a um, quarter of an hour to dry before you make the cover. OK, so we've made our flick book. It's dried. You should be able to take the pegs off and uh, give it a bit of a flick. If it's no good now, it's too late. You have to buy another one. But if it is all right, there we are. Now we need to make the cover. We make the cover with piece number three. Now, the cover is going to go down like that. It's going to slide on and off. So you take your cover and you put it down that far on your flip book. Can you see it goes down to this bit, down to piece number two, but no further. You put it down on the table like that. And once again, we fold it round. Now this folding is a bit more difficult because piece number three is a bit long. You have to make a good fold and you line up the two edges, not like that or like that, but you line it up like that. And then you make a really good fold, just like we did before. And if it looks like that, then you've got it right. Um, then you put it back on your flip book. So, and then we make fold number, this is fold number three, isn't it? And once again, take it off and make the fold really good. Don't rely on just folding it around the flip book for a good fold. Always take it off and fold it really hard on the table. There we are. And then the last fold just goes round like that. Fold it on the flip book and then take it off the flip book to make a really good fold. And now, once again, if you have a letterbox shape, then you've got it right. So make sure it's a letterbox shape. Put that back on your flip book. Again, make sure that it doesn't go over this bit here. And we have to glue it together, but really try not to glue piece number three to your flick book. You just want to glue piece number three together without gluing it to the flick book. So I'm just going to glue along this edge here, a bit of glue along here. Try not to get any glue too near the edge where the flick book is. Make it nice and tight. So I'm pushing that onto the flick book nice and tight and then I wrap it round and glue it down. And you might need to hold it there for a little bit. So 
and let it go and let the glue dry. Shouldn't take too long. So now we need to make these flaps here go down. We need to make the top of our flick book. So you take a pair of scissors and you put it into the flick book like that and you cut along the corner down as far as the flick book. So one, two, three, four. So you cut four corners and then you can take these flaps and fold them in like so. Those fold in there and then these ones, a bit more difficult to fold, you fold it down, fold it down like that and then you have to make that into a really good fold. And then you fold this one, the front one, that goes down. You have to make that a really good fold and then you lift it up a bit. You can't fold it on the table, but you can give it a good nip all the way down. Now, the better you do your folding here, the easier it'll be to glue your flip book. Now, we need to glue these flaps down and we want to use the flip book to make sure we don't make it go out of shape but we don't want to glue the top of the flick book together. So we just put it down like that, leaving a gap there. So we leave a gap there and you then use a minimal amount of glue just along the top here. And a bit of glue along the top there. And then you hold that there and you glue it down like that. And then you sit there waiting for it to dry and it might take about two minutes before you can lift it up if you lift it up too early it just pops up again so you just sit there so um, I would advise you to already have a little bit of biscuit head and the biscuit badgers playing in the background so you can sing along while you wait Yes, it's glued. Now, we still don't want to put that all the way down, just in case there's some wet glue under there. You don't want to glue your cover to your flick book. So the last thing that we have to do, actually, that's the wrong way around, we'll put it that way around. The last thing we need to do to finish the flick book off is, oh, while we do, while I'm showing you, this is how you get your flick book into the cover. You have to put the corner in like that carefully and then just bend it around. That's how you get it in, otherwise you might have trouble. The last thing we do, do you remember this bit that we put aside earlier? That's going to go nicely on the cover there, just to put the finishing touch to your flick book. Take a little bit of glue, put glue on there, all the way around like this. And then take that and we turn it over like that, carefully. Put it nice and straight. And that is your finished flick book. A perfect gift for auntie or big sister. Thank you.